These are actually the projects. This is a project which we are running in our department, uh, which we call it as Emprendia, which is has special focus of promoting entrepreneurship amongst the amongst the females, amongst the girls. Right? So this is a special program that we are running in our department, and we are training uh, many of the girls in for imparting those skills which are required for entrepreneurship. We are training them how to cultivate mushrooms, we are training them how to produce enzymes so that they start their own ventures. So this program is specifically meant for that and we have established an ERC, Entrepreneurial Resource Center in our department where we are uh, taking students from all over Haryana, only the girls, I'm sorry, it is only for the girls students and we are training them on different aspects of microbiology so that they can have their own startups. So we are promoting microbiology as a means of starting your own ventures. So there are many ideas that you must be having, many business ideas that you must be having. You can mature your ideas by associating with us. You can come over to the, to the department and we have some training materials and we keep on calling people who can help you establish your own company. With that uh, idea, I thought I will share uh, my presentation with you. So, you can see two pictures which I have specifically put. One picture is showing uh, a plate, which is a contaminated plate, because you can see many different kinds of colonies here. The other picture is a group of students who are sitting and actually they are entrepreneurs. They have formed their own company. So I want you guys to think in this direction also, that how can you use technology for starting your own ventures? Because there are the government jobs are very limited and it is also shrinking the, because of the privatization. From government is keen on privatization, privatizing all the public sector units and all government organizations. So it would be good if we can start and think in the direction of starting your own ventures, having your own business idea. Okay. So that's why I put these two pictures together so that you start thinking about establishing your own company. So I'll be sharing some uh, my... This is uh, the overview of my presentation. I will tell you what is the potential of a microbiologist what all they can do by means of one slide and uh, how, how can we do a process development for uh, different products. There are many microbiological products. So how can we develop a process for synthesizing or for making a particular uh, product which comes out of microbiology. Then my special emphasis would be on uh, biopharmaceuticals because there is a, a lot of innovation which is happening in biopharmaceuticals and people are slowly moving from the chemical drugs towards the biopharmaceuticals, what we call as biologics. I am also talking, uh, we'll talk about IBD kits which are gaining a lot of uh, importance and uh, many new startups are based on in vitro diagnostic kits. So there are many in vitro diagnostic kits which are coming up in market and uh, this I am sharing because with the with the thought that you will also someday come up with a kit, small diagnostic kit and you can start your own business. Then I was telling you about how can you expand your uh, business and how can you protect your business, how can you gain edge over your business uh, by using the IPR rights. So this is something uh, which I will be discussing today. So. Again, uh, this picture says something. On here you see, that is myself. This guy is a microbiologist. He's a scientist. But on the other side is someone who is controlling this guy. Right? I want to say that you have to learn both the aspects to be successful. If you are just a microbiologist, you might not be able to grow in your life. You will be restricted towards the lab only. So, 
try to learn the soft skills, try to learn other aspects of business. Nowadays, the information is very easily available and you can learn whatever you want. So, this guy, you should try to have the knowledge of both these aspects. You should know what is the business, how much is uh, kids selling for, what is the market share for this kind of a technology, what are the new technologies which are coming up, and so on. So just don't restrict yourself toward, to the lab. You have to be dynamic, you interact, because this is a university, this is not a college. So you have to interact with other departments also. Try to speak to other people also. Learn what they are learning. If you are good at management, if you uh, learn certain skills from management also, and you are a microbiologist also, then you can think in new direction. So try to make a team which has people from different disciplines. Only then you can grow in your life. What role does a microbiologist play in a startup is that when you will be joining some company or you will be interviewed, so you are expected to do certain things. That is, you have to select an organism and the choice of medium for growth of that organism. So, since you are being a microbiologist, you have to select a, a living organism which is capable of producing your desired product. It could be many things, if I am talking about products, it could be an enzyme, it could be a hormone, it could be some other metabolism. So first comes the selection of the organism. This is the first step as a microbiologist. You do that. You select the organism. Then you devise a media. When you are devising a media, you take care of certain things that every organism, it needs a carbon source, every organism needs a nitrogen source, every organism needs macronutrients and micronutrients and a support media for the growth. So if you know the carbon source, the nitrogen source, macro and micronutrients, you can make a media for the growth. So first you select the organism, then you devise a media. Following that, you optimize the parameters, the physical and the chemical parameters for the production of that particular product. Say for an enzyme, right? So, once you optimize all the parameters, optimization means after SE conditions they need and this city organism grows in the optimal way and produces your desired product in an optimal concentration. So you have to optimize all the parameters of that organism. After that, you have to see that whatever is being produced is devoid of any contaminant. Contaminants may come uh, you can see the virus comes as a contaminant. At times the, the microorganism is secretes certain toxic products. So you have to make sure that in your uh, in your process there should be no contaminant present and that should your product should be absolutely usable for human consumption or consumption of another organism. After that, you should be able to maintain that organism in the same condition. So there also the skills of microbiologists come, how to maintain the organism so that the same level of activity is shown in the next coming generations. So maintenance may be very important that today you are giving the organism ki. For example, if it is producing zadanes, it is giving you 100 units uh, of yield per ml of uh, the culture. Later on, after two, three generations, you will see the yield is changing. That means you are not maintaining your organism in a proper way. So subculturing is also important. After that, you should also try for improving your culture. You should also try to improve the culture so that it gives you more of the yield.